With the Dyson 360i robot, our aim was to develop an intelligent robotic vacuum cleaner that could actually clean your floors properly. Without a powerful motor, you do not have good suction. So what we've done at Dyson is developed our own digital motor that is one of the world's smallest and fastest. The Dyson digital motor enables us to generate greater suction than conventional machines. So this test will show us visually how important that extra suction is to the performance of the product. So here you can see how much dust has been left behind by this machine. There's a huge amount of dust. The crevice is still full of dirt which is in complete contrast to our machine, which has picked up much more dust. Our machine has a cleaner head that covers the width of the product, so the path it takes is the path it cleans. Some other robot machines have these side sweepers, which are meant to help make up for the small width of the cleaner head. These side sweepers sometimes just disturb the dust rather than actually sucking it up. They can flick dust up into the air, which is really the last place that you want it. Having sucked up the dust and dirt from the floor, the next thing we have to do is separate the dust from the airflow. And the way we achieve this is by using cyclonic technology. So we have one large outer cyclone and we have eight inner cyclones that remove the finer dust. And because of the extremely high velocity of the airflow, we're even able to remove microscopic particles from the air. Another important feature for a robot vacuum cleaner is to have good traction control. And tank tracks are the best way to deliver that good traction. If you have a conventional wheel on the product, you are very much more likely to go off course or slip. Tank tracks grip a surface and climb and pull itself up over the objects without the machine having to be picked up manually and placed down again.